just repeating that slide that I uh, put up earlier on general linear models, this is just to reiterate that general linear models do encompass both regression and ANOVA and more complex forms of multiple regression, ANOVA with two or more factors. And what the key thing that general linear models will also do is allow you to use the properties of ANOVA, with which fits groupings of the data, and regression, which allows you to fit continuous measurements in the model, allows you to combine those. That also comes under the umbrella of general linear models. Just to reiterate that again, with ANOVA, you're fitting categorical effects. You're fitting groupings to your data. So the model could be written something like this, with an intercept term, one or more categorical effects, and an error term. Regression, you're modeling continuous effects, so measurements. These, these x's are measurements, so this is a multiple regression model. And you've got like several slopes for the different measurements that you're fitting in the model. And so the general linear model, which is often called a GLM, you can fit both categorical effects, you can model both groupings of the data, and you can also fit continuous effects. So it encompasses, as I said, ANOVA regression and models that have got both categorical and continuous effects in them. So I've written it a bit like this. And actually, these categorical effects, you could denote them by sort of XIs, where the, um, instead of being a measure, it, they're going to take just values of naught or, or 1. But I won't kind of go into the detail of that. But basically, it all fits into this general linear modeling framework. So you can assess both categorical effects and measurements at continuous data in the same model with a general linear model.